starts at 11. The owner of Pronto Pups in Grand Haven is not hiding from the controversy as he was out talking with protesters this afternoon who are taking issue with a social media rant he accidentally posted to the company Facebook page earlier this week. News 8's Jacqueline Francis has his message new tonight. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing that, but what I do want to say is... I Sandwiched between a line of protesters and patrons, Pronto Pup's owner, Carl Nelson, stepped out of the kitchen and into the controversy. I don't know if I can say I would regret it. Spending much of the afternoon engaging in a dialogue with those taking a stand against his Facebook rant. The protest organizer was one of many outraged by the post that touched on topics from coronavirus to the Black Lives Matter movement. They keep saying that it's freedom of speech and he was allowed to say what he did. And I mean, I guess that's true in some sense, but when it starts putting down other people's races and like just putting people down in general, and I'm not sure if that's really an opinion anyone should have, let alone post to a company page. In the post that's since been deleted, Nelson wrote that he was upset about the executive order to wear a mask while working. Later stating that he was going to paint white lives matter in the street. One of several statements protesters took offense to. I can understand after talking to a lot of people here how it was perceived as racist. Yes, I can understand that now. I have learned that today. I would change if I were to do that same post today, it would be a lot longer paragraph on that particular subject for clarity. Nelson says despite the backlash, he doesn't regret the post, saying it led to important I conversations. Um, I had some great conversations with some very informed people um, that, I won't say set me straight, that gave me some clarity, especially on the Black Lives Matter movement. Reporting in Grand Haven, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.